Hello. Hello. Let's hang out on here is live. Can you guys hear me? Hello. 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 Oh, wait. 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 I gotta do this. Okay. There we go. Hello. Oh, Ali Sensi, can you hear me okay? Police chases were lame today, let me tell you. Can you hear me? Or no? Yes or no? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes, I'm all good. Ah, uh, both short, yeah. Yeah, they were lame. Bear already, hello, how are you? I'm doing great. My wife's home from the hospital. Hit that like button, Ellie. Barrel, Bear already hit the like button. There, there, Stephen Greer, hello. Good, you can hear me. All right, hit the like button. Is your wife home now? Yes, she is. My wife is back home, safe and sound. Allie, would you like to come on panel? Or the life of Grayson... Logan vlogs would like to come on panel. Um, there was a live panel that was lame today. Just letting you guys know. Where's Juxtapose? He's usually here. Did you get my message on Twitter, Allie? Or no? Yeah. The like button. Yeah. Okay, let me put your thing on so you can join let's see if the unusual suspects join not sure if they will one might be asleep the other hopefully is asleep not knocking sleep don't get me wrong not knocking sleep okay There we go. Okay, new hangouts for Allie. Let's see. Uh, wow, it's only 11. 8.11 on the, in Hawaii. I was wrong the other night, but I'm often wrong. Okay, Stephen Greer, you're fine. I'll be watching tonight. I have some work to catch up on. I wish I... We're as smart as Allie. Allie's one of the smartest young ladies that I have as a wrench. And don't ask for wrenches. I love Weed 420. Hello. Hit that like button, guys. I wish I was as smart as Allie. Allie's one of the smartest people I know. Aside from my brother, of course. Or both brothers, actually. Okay, so Allie so far is the only one that can come on panel. This is late night. My wife's home, safe and sound. Where's Juxtapose? I sent him a message on Twitter. He might not get it till later, I don't know. That looks like pepperoni. Peppermint, I mean. I had Sizzler steak for uh, tonight. You guys can hear me okay? That's good. Bear already. Good deal. Hope she's well. Yeah, she's well. I had naps in between. Dodgers beat the Padres tonight. Jeffrey Pell can hear me. Waiting for uh, Ali Sensi. Sound good. Thank you. Thumbs up. Police chases today were lame. Lame, lame, lame police chases. I've got to ask Ali uh, on panel about that. It's 
Stu was looking for another police chase, and the other one was was uh, finished. Darn it! It's actually had three police chases. The third police chase didn't get televised. <clears throat> My pain pills have kicked in, so my spelling is off. So sorry for staying so short with the live, but I'm going to head out. Everyone take care. The live Grace of and Logan Brog vlogs take care. I don't know how long I'm going to be on until probably about 1230. Because <clears throat> I don't see Allie yet. She's doing things. As soon as she gets done doing things, then she can be on. There's juxtapose. Why were the chases lame? Too short? Yep, exactly. <coughs> you got it. Juxtapose want to come on panel? Allie's planning to. Might not go on for very long if I only get a, only a few people on panel. Mr. Turtle, I'm glad your wife is home and doing better. That's awesome. And no, I'm not sleeping. Am I supposed to? I don't know. Are you? Your guess is as good as mine. The police chases were lame today. They had two that were too short, and the third one fizzled out before the copper could get there. So they actually had three. But the third one was in Riverside, California, which is quite a ways from Los Angeles. They had like four people in that one car. I got to get Allie up here because she was watching them with me. Two shorter rides, man. Okay, apparently the car conked out. Someone said it was smoke and I was looking for smoke, but I didn't see any. I would, but I have to get in the shower before it gets really late so I don't piss people off in the house. I am already pushing it. If you're still going after, then I probably will join. Hello, Digga. How are you? Daija. I'll call you Daija. I don't like Digga. Good morning. Sorry. Hello, Daija. Um... If I only get Allie on, I'll probably only talk till uh, 1230, mid 1230, 30 minutes past 12 midnight, to be exact. I pressed wrong letter. You're fine. Daija. I wish it was Daijo. Fat fingers. Hey, what, Jux, what up? Wife got clean bill of health. Yep, sure did. She's doing good. She's doing well. It's 11.17. I'll be on tomorrow. Hopefully my wife can't hear me. Because she'll wake up. Dodgers won tonight. They beat the Padres. I'm glad. I slept through the whole damn game. That's sleeping a lot. I tried to get the heat on this morning, and my wife told me no. Have a good day. Oh, I can't do it too loud, Luke. H, because my wife. <coughs> I don't want to wake her up. Her explanation juxtaposed. I try to help West Haven with paneling, but I think it's a lost cause with that old laptop. She has. She's getting it. Did you say there was a, a laptop for her for $200? That, a, that would be decent for uh, for paneling? I didn't do anything, but thanks. Laugh out loud. Um, did you find a new $200 laptop for her? She said she was willing to spend $400. But that was months ago when she said that. I hope she gets it. Yeah, I found one 
for like 200 that is pretty decent awesome i hope she, i hope she can get that that's a that's a good price man wait how much how much gigabyte ram does it have i read wrong Chuck. hello good morning hello n Hesanova, how are you? Would you like to come on panel? And what up, Stephen? How are you? King, hello. And Juxton, everyone. And Hesanova, would you like to come on panel? You got a pretty face. It's 185 used, but it looks in great shape. It's got eight gig. Cool. If she gets four, I'm afraid it won't do so well. So it's under $200, actually. With the extra money she has, she could uh, bump that gigabyte up. She wanted to. I hope she does. Thanks. And Hesanova, Hes would you like to come on panel? I sent Allie the link. Yeah, and free shipping. Cool. I, I trust it's not from uh, Best Buy. I hope she can get it. That would be awesome. I think the problem is she doesn't have the money. Oh. Well, she's supposed to be getting some money. Eight gigabyte. Yeah, that's all you need. That's all I got on this computer. And it works fine. Four gigabyte on my both my computers that I had. That one that I gave away to my son-in-law. Um, it wouldn't get it wouldn't it would do like west haven's laptop does now wouldn't work on panels laptop from best buy and for under 200 dollars laughed my tail off um dark clouds i'm coming home i'm coming home tell the world that i'm coming home she is already home at 11 a.m this morning yesterday morning oh it is still is still uh five three. Where is Ali Sensei? And Hesanova, come come to panel. Oh, I guess you can't get anything from Best Buy for under two hundred bucks. Time. It's eleven twenty one here. See, it's not uh, it's not Saturday yet, so I can say, yeah, she came home uh, this morning at eleven a.m. Woke me up and everything. King, have you been seen the toothbrush? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I just talking about King. Talks amongst yourself if you'd like. I don't own a computer, Rebecca Gerson. So what are you using? Are you using a cell phone? i hanging in the journal. Two twenty one AM for me. So good night, everyone. Have a good rest of the night. Take care, King. Modified my Android. Android cell phone or Android uh, what, laptop? Oh, wait, that's a computer. All I, Android, what do they call those things? Notebook, whatever they're called. I don't, oh, man, I'm sorry, Stephen. <clears throat> Died you laugh like you should read the comments. They're hilarious. They are funny. Cell phone. Rebecca Gerson, how'd you find out about my channel? A lot of people don't have computers anymore because of smartphones or tablets. I've got a desktop. I don't have a laptop. I gave my laptop to my wife. She has it. She doesn't use it much. She uses her cell phone. Yeah, they were funny. Yep. Beast. Oh, LA Beast. Rebecca. Is it Rebecca Gerson or Gerson? Did I get it? first one? Press one if it's Gerson. Press two if it's Gerson. Press three if it's neither one of those. 
Rebecca G. <laughs> I feel like Stu in the helicopter right now. I'd rather have a desktop than a laptop. So would I. I don't like laptops, to tell you the truth. I've had owned two of them. I don't like them. I don't know how anyone can use a laptop. I really don't. I mean, if you're traveling and going on a commercial jet to some destination, then I could see a laptop. But ladies were turning their heads to that noise. Uh-oh. Same, Jux. Same. King, and, King me and Jux agree. Desktops are better than laptops. Yep, Daija. Daija's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm laughing back, buddy. Person makes me think of the gherkin pickles. Oh, I love, I love the... Uh... Hey, Big so? Uh oh It's about that time. My wife's up. I hear you, dear. Oh, crap. She heard me. Darn. I'm celebrating your your welcome home. Right. I am. It says live. My wife is back home. Meow. Monkas. Where's Monkey? 2.24 a.m. Does anyone know how to make... 17 year old go to oh are you, Rebecca are you 17 years old oh oh I have rules Rebecca there they are rules are coming up there it is please don't ask to be on the panel no subs for subs no one under 18 allowed on panel unless prior permission is given Oh, your son is 17. Oh, wait, Rebecca, how old are you? So I could put you on panel. There you go. My mother used to do that. Press five to speak to an operator. No. Oh, shoot, busted. Nope. It's all good. Forty. Okay, you're you're eligible to come on panel, Rebecca Jerson. Would you like to come on panel? Just need to, to copy my Gmail, and it's you're in like Flint. I'll send you a link. Copy that Gmail. Let me know when you send it. He doesn't have one. He doesn't have one what? A lot, oh, a cell phone. Take his TV out of the bedroom. Out of the bedroom. Take his TV out. <laughs> Just stop to say hi, bro. Hello, 68 Abel. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. Monks is internet slang for when someone is nervous or a moment of anxiety is present. Are you nervous? Juxtapose. Say it ain't so. Okay, goodbye, peeps. Have a good night. Goodbye, King. Good night. Take care, buddy. He came from LA Beast. <laughs> My mom used to say that whenever we were bad. Okay, I'm going to take the tubes out of the TV set. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I'm not nervous anymore. So do I need to send an email now? Yeah, I'd like to have you on. Um, send it to... You have to have your, uh, your Gmail. Ripe Ducks. That's all you have to do. Malloy193 at gmail.com. Good night, King. Take care, buddy. TV is next to my next on my list. Uh-oh. There you go. Oh, I can put that. Oh, that's cool. I I mean exclamation point email. Thank you. 
Okay, hold on. Good. We're going to have a new person on. <laughs> yeah, oh, you have to have a microphone. You don't have to have your picture. You can have that green woman in the background, green and white woman, or green and gray woman. Phew, close call. Mike almost busted by the enforcer. How do you mean, Mr. Turtle? I sent you a... Wow, my girl just called me. She has a very sexy voice. Cool, cool, cool. My girl just mentioned... Uh, I heard you. Doing it now. Okay. Rosa Studios, hello. Be right back. Cool. She's getting her Gmail to my Gmail, and we'll hook up. 13 watching. 10 likes. Come on, like like those. Get those likes up. The SpaceX rocket is about to blast off. I need to watch it. Okay. What channel is that on? Discovery Channel or something? How are you today, Michael? Dylan Sample, I'm doing great. How are you? Let's talk about your wife being in the enforce. Oh, yeah. No, she she didn't enforce nothing. Is that the rocket blasting off? Oh, you watched it off of YouTube. I guess I did not mess up as bad as I thought. Nobody's messed up in here yet. Okay, I'm going to check my Gmail, see if uh, Rebecca signed in. Hopefully. I'm being as quiet as a church mouse. Nope, don't see that email. I'm great. Thanks for asking, buddy. You're welcome. Any friend of LA Beast is a friend of mine. Because he's awesome. Where is Ali Sensia? Check. I don't see anybody here yet. She's got to get things done, apparently, Ali Sensia. It was supposed to blast off last night, but got postponed until tonight because they had problems. Okay. Oh, did you send a, did you send a link, Rebecca? I mean, not, not your link, but your Gmail? Let me see. Let's check. Oh, you sure did. Thank you. Awesome. I will reply. And I will send you a link. That should work for you. Rebecca Gerson, I got a link. Click that, click that link and you'll be in the panel. Sweet. Thank you. No problem. All right. Rebecca Gerson found out from L.A. Beast about my channel. L.A. Beast, you're number one in my book. I, Twitter. You might get rated by L.A. Beast soon. I don't think so. I think it's kind of late on the East Coast. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you, Juxtapose. Waiting for Allie and Rebecca. Click that link, Rebecca, and you'll be in here. You'll be able to talk. Hopefully, you'll have a microphone, at least. <laughs> Maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself. On the weekend, I doubt it. He's probably busy with his girlfriend. Or his family. Or maybe he's out with friends. It is Friday night. I'm a homebody on Friday nights. Unless I go to Denny's. I love Denny's. Denny's here in, in Salem, Oregon is awesome. The Denny's down in Los Angeles where I was raised, they're terrible. I'd rather go to IHOP. The IHOPs up here in Salem, Oregon are terrible. We only have one IHOP, I do believe. That man is always has surprise. Oh, yep. You're like, good luck with your new friends tonight, Mike. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. Dylan Samp, what time is it where you are? Time check. There it is. 
Denny's on Friday and Saturday nights too terrible because everyone is hammered exactly. Yep, on Portland Road. Do I do Chrome or Hangouts? Juxtapose, does she do Chrome or Hangouts? Which? Google Chrome. Uh, I think you do Google Chrome. Just curious, how do you become an admin? You have your own, you have your own. Oh, he says Hangouts, but I didn't get her on Hangouts. That's the only thing. What up, Bubby? Hey, what's going on in, in Australia land? Dark clouds, how do you become an admin? What you have to do is you have to get your own channel on YouTube and you can start your own live stream. That's how you get to be. Oh wait, there's a couple there's a couple of Denny's in uh Salem. Good day, mate. Good to see you. Your phone is asking what to launch the link with. And you definitely want to launch it with the Hangouts. Okay, so what do I get on Hangouts? The green thingy? Wait. I don't have the get I don't have the hangouts on here. The, where's the green thingy? Oh, I'm a, I'll admin. There's no ad. I'm the only admin on my channel. Because I run my own channel. No, you don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. Okay, hold on. Let me see if she sent all. She might have sent, sent it through Gmail. Google Hangouts. Yeah, just click Google Hangouts. Oh, uh, Rebecca, you have to launch the link with Hangouts, not Google Chrome. Even though the Gmail sent to Google Chrome. Let me see if I can do it this way. Right. That's not it. What's her deal? Let me see. I could send it through her Gmail. Let's see what it is. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'll do it this. I could do it this way. Um. Now we could do it this way, and it'll be on there. There we go. I invited her. Invitation posted. Okay. I've invited her two ways. I don't hear her, though. That's the only thing. And where's Ali Sensi? Hit that like button, guys. Yeah, dark clouds. Oh, are you talking about the wrenches? Here, here's rules for the wrenches. Give you rules again. Please don't ask to be on the panel. No subs for subs. No one under 18 allowed on panel unless prior permission is given. No asking to be a moderator, which is a red, blue wrench. No hate speech or racist remarks. Rocket launch in about 10 minutes. Yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't ask to be wrenched. Don't say, can I be a mod? They're called mods. I already did. I can't hit the like anymore. Okay. I will have to be to re-download later. Okay. How long will it take? 
not asking to be a mod, just wondering how to become one. Yeah, but I wanted to make sure that he's not going to say, well, can I be a, can I be a ranch or a mod? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. I know, I know he wasn't asking to be one, but I just wanted to make sure that he knows the rules so he doesn't come up to me uh, later on and say, hey, can I be a mod? Because I won't do it. With all the rules, I want to break them all. <laughs> Bargain shopping. Would you like to come on panel to discuss this bargain shopping? Your voice will be heard. Where's Ali Sensi? Rocket launch in 10 minutes. Hello, bargain shopping. How are you? I said I'll go till 1230 and it's already 1139. If we get people on the panel, I'll go till like 1 or one thirty. Otherwise, I'm getting out of here at 12.30. What's rocket launch? Click the link and find out. Mr. Turtle, you'll find out the rocket launch. Rocket launch, it, a rocket is launching in 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes, I guess, now. Laughed my butt off. It's 2.39 a.m. I'm in bed. Oh, okay. So that leaves bargain shopping out. <clears throat> so anyway, as I was saying, SpaceX is launching a rocket right now. Where is, what city is that in? Is that in somewhere in Florida? I didn't know they launched those every week. Wow. Herman is live. Yes, I know. I just got the notification. I'm doing my thing. He's doing his thing. I'm not connected to his people. Awfully late of him to be up here. Oh, he is at the work tomorrow. I know that. I'm like James Freeman when he says uh, that he's not in any community. I'm I'm in the same boat now. I've divorced myself out of any communities. Please don't place me in one because I'm not in any community. I do my own thing. NASA pays them for their rockets. Where do they shoot them off at? In Texas or Florida? Or California. Oh, wow. It's true, Dark Clouds. It's true. Interesting. Oh, he finds that interesting. But it's true. I'm not in any one community. I do my own thing. That's how it is. Everyone wants to try to Cape Canaveral, Florida. They used, it was originally Cape, Cape Canaveral, then they changed it to Cape Kennedy after the assassination and all that, and changed it back to Cape Canaveral. Wish they would have left it at, at Cape Kennedy instead. I'm on my phone trying to stay awake. I have only had two hours of sleep since 11 p.m. yesterday evening. I'm losing my mind. Uh-oh. You better get some sleep then. What state are you in, Rebecca Gerson? If I don't get anyone on the panel tonight, I'm just going to close up shop at 12.30 a.m. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania. Cool. And don't tell me you're a Pittsburgh Pirates fan, right? Or Philadelphia Phillies, or neither one. <laughs> How far is juxtaposed from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? My son has autism, so he don't sleep. I'm sorry to hear that. 
public kind of puts people in groups if they do a common activity like auditing. Yeah, I know. And I'm not in the auditing community. And when I go into audit the National Guard, I'm not in that community. I'm not in a scam bait community anymore. I'm not in any community. Hello, Snowy1985. Would you like to come on panel? Snowy1985. And Snowy's in Snowy, Idaho. Although it's going to get hot and hot, hot and mosquitoey in Idaho in the summertime. Scam baiting is missed. Oh, you missed me in scam baiting? If I get phone numbers, I'll do them. But I'm not getting any phone numbers from a logical. She used to give it a list. Yes, I would. Oh, you want to come on panel? Okay. How do I get you, Snowy? Uh, what is it? Email? I think that's how you did it. Send me the link. I will. Okay. Write to my Malloy193gmail.com and you can get on there. Write to me at that email address. It's 11.45 now. Yep, I've got the link. I love Cowboys and Reds and Canadian hockey teams. Oh, gotcha. Love the Dallas Cowboys and the Cincinnati Reds. What a combination. And you live in Pennsylvania. Three minutes to rocket launch. Then we'll miss Chuck's pose till after the long rocket launch is over with. Let me check. Check, check, check. Only got Rebecca's. I haven't gotten yours yet. I hope the rocket doesn't blow up. How many astronauts are in that rocket, or is that, that just a rocket? I'm watching both at once. I have two screens. Oh, that's right. I forgot you do. And I have another computer with a screen that I could do. Allie Sensi, are you almost ready to come on panel? Nobody's paneling. There's zero people on that. Well, that's a good thing. We don't want another Sally Wright incident. Just food and supplies for the ISIS. Oh, ISS. <laughs> ISIS. <laughs> I hope it's not for ISIS. <laughs> like, hit the hay. What? You're going to hit the hay bear already? I'm not hitting the hay. You can't. I'm not. I got to get this done. Damn, 60,000 people watching this. Wow. That's a lot of people. Put a whole Mountain Dew to the rescue. I got to go get some. Hold on. I think I put it in the... I think I put it there. Check. Did I or did I? Oh, crap. Somehow we got two bottles of Mountain Dew. Darn it. 
Where'd Snowy go? I sent an email. Okay, good. Here we go. Took a bit, but you got it. There we go. All right. Hi. Oops. That's not it. Crap. I don't want to do that. Here we go. Whew. Okay, maybe we get snowy in here. Okay. Hello, snowy. There we go. I sent you a link. All you have to do is click that link and you'll be in. Oh, a date. Yeah, we got, oh. We got a, me and Allie and her partner are going to meet me on Mother's Day. And I'm paying for Denny's. Blast off. Snowy found something. It was so great. I spent the whole day with my new boyfriend and his daughter. Oh, you could have spent it with me. No, you don't have sister wise. I forgot. Out of curiosity, we'll find out when she clicks the link. She's got to click that link that I gave her. We need man missions in time for more. Hey, if you go to sleep at 12.30, who will wake me up? I don't know. I'll, I'll wake you up. I don't know. <clears throat> Snowy, I sent you a, a Gmail back. All I have to do is click that link I gave you. And once you do that, you'll be in. In like Flint. Snowy. Who just had a date with her boyfriend. What time is it over there? Sucropy. It's one thirty in Chicago. Hello? Hello. Who came in here? Hello. Hi. Is that is that snowy? Yes, it is. It's the first time you're on. You're beautiful, man. Thanks. You're welcome. Ooh, my nice. new boyfriend. My new boyfriend thinks so too. Hey, wait! I thought I was your new boyfriend. <laughs> I thought it was your new brother husband. I'm your, just... I'm your YouTube wife. That's different. Oh, I can oh, still you, see my. You, I yeah, can you. Still see... You're, you're my, you're my YouTube sister wife. <laughs> yep, exactly. There you go. Hey, Snowy's on, guys. Oh, people want to know how old you are. If I'm you don't 34. Mind. 34. Whew. Elon Musk makes me <laughs> moist. What were you gonna say, Snowy? Snowy finally made it. What did you do? Just click the link? Yep. Rebecca, you need to click that link so you can come in. And Snowy's 34. She's going to give you competition. <laughs> Where would you go on your date? McDonald's? No, actually to a coffee shop and then went over to his place for the whole day and I just got back. But you, did, but you didn't drink any coffee, do you? Yeah. Did you? I didn't know Idaho sells coffee. It's a Mormon state, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> she really, she really had just a glass of milk. Don't let her fool you guys. <laughs> no, I had, I had vanilla coffee. Oh, she had vanilla coffee. Vanilla iced coffee. Nope. We're at Starbucks. Actually, no, a little local shop in Boise. It was good. Oh, in Boise. Idaho. Did you see the state capitol there? Yep. Are you in Boise? I actually sang it. I sang in it for choir when I was in high school. The Leonard. I sang to the government. The Leonard Skinner one? Oh, you're talking about you sang in a high school choir at, at, at the state capitol. Hi. What, yep. Mama? Okay, hold on. I got to close the door. Hold on. My living head sister wife is mad at me, so I'll be back. Uh, talk, to the, talk to the audience. <laughs> okay. 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 See. 
Hold on. Who leaves it open all the time? So how are you guys? I can't read chat, so because I'm on my phone and can't dual screen it. <laughs> but yeah, my snow, day was so great. I really white. like them. Snowy, and it's snowy in Idaho snow. in the winter time. Get a lot of mosquito. I don't think Boise gets mosquitoes, do they? Does Boise get yeah. mosquitoes? They do. Very bad. It's a Mormon state, man. Your but every other street corner there's a Mormon church there. I know the drill. Basically. Yep. Mormons are taking but over my Idaho. Boyfriend. Huh? Your boyfriend's my boyfriend is Mormon. <laughs> oh, wait, you're not Mormon either, right? I left the church. Five oh, years. that's right. Um, well, you can still go back, you know. Years. You can still go back. You can take your kid lit to go someday someday. <laughs> No, I think I'm good. Think you're good? Well, yeah. it's always there. Do you have home teachers come by? Oh, they don't call them that anymore. Do you have uh, Mormons come by your house or no? Oh, no, you restricted anymore. them, right? Like my wife has, right? Yep. My religion is the Church of England. Cool. I don't know what they believe. Is there anyone in Philadelphia that can get me a Tony Luke's Philly cheesesteak? Uh, someone's in Phil Rebecca Gerson's in Philadelphia where the Amish are and the Phillies. And she's not a Philly fan either. I want <laughs> Ray Gonzalez wants coffee now. No, don't drink any coffee, dude. My religion is music. Coffee's good. Blech. I can't stand the taste of it. My wife, my wife does. She's she's Mormon, but she's in, uh, less active. She's inactive. My religion is. Dumb. I'm an inactive Mormon. <laughs> are, you, are you? You didn't take your records mm -hmm. out the church like my wife tried to do. Yep. You did get your records taken off. Yep. Did you have to hire a lawyer like my wife? Nope. Oh, my wife lost. She used she used the Dream Team. And she lost. They didn't take her records off. They didn't take her name off the records of the church. Well, mine was kind of simple because I actually had a case with the ward I was in because they were an FLDS ward and not a mainstream ward. But they were claiming they were mainstream. Oh, so you didn't really get your records off the church then, right? Well, because I got baptized in an FLDS, not an LDS, so they were able to. Oh, you were an FLDS? Without knowing, yep, they were pretending to be mainstream. Oh my! Well, they'll always do that. So, so mm -hmm. you were you in a? Did you have sister? Were you a? Did you have brother husbands? <laughs> sister no, wives? No, I actually. You, I was a sister. What? I was a sister sister wife without even realizing it because they were allowing polygamy in the ward I was in. Oh, that's the FLDS, though. Yep, and then. The worst one was they told me that because I told them my ex-husband was beating me and they're like, well, he's just not hitting you hard enough because you're not listening. Oh, my God. That sounds like the FLDS. S and that's, that's, why, so, that's, sounds, why I was able, that's why, that's why I was able to remove my records with wait, the court order or anything. Wait, wait, wait. So where did you become FLDS? There's actually an FLDS. Huh? Center here in in Idaho, there's an FLDS stake center that is pretending to be a mainstream, but they're not, and they got called out for it and actually got in trouble. Oh my God! That's part of the reason why there's two LDS church. That's part of the reason the LDS church broke up was because FLDS were pretending to be mainstream Mormons and moving into Idaho, and if you weren't listening to them, you'd have to move into a compound. They try to put me in one of the compounds. Oh my god! In in Texas or in Utah or in Arizona? The one in Utah. Oh, okay, Hilldale. I know yep. it very well. Um, 
Mr. Turtle says, $2 camera fund, and she has a sweet voice. <laughs> Mr. Turtle says, and he's in Felony Flat, Salem, Oregon, where, I, where I'm at. Yep. Well, I'm taken now. <laughs> oh, Mr. Turtle, she's taken, dude. Oh, he was just saying you have a sweet voice. That's all he was saying. Um, Rebecca Gerson said, so is Scientology the same as Mormons? Nope. They're totally different. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, say the FLDS is more towards Scientology than the LDS is. Okay, wasn't sure. Sorry. No, you're okay. The super chat is off. No, it's not. Super chat is on. Because this turtle donated two dollars. I'm sorry. What What are you sorry about, uh, Turtle Man? Sorry that she's taken, or sorry that she was FLD is. I'm sorry that you were uh, ever FLD is. I didn't know they had a Boise FLDS church there, stake center, or whatever. And you were a sister wife at one time. Snowy got disconnected. Oh, that's not good. Snowy, click that link and you'll get back in there again. Oh, wait. Oh, Snowy's. Click. Snowy, you can click the link and you can get back in. Oof, didn't see. Don't matter if you're taken, girl. I'm not the jealous type. Oh. Does she does Snowy share? That's what I want. For my comment that I said to her. Oh, she's okay. I got disconnected. Click that link again, Snowy. You'll be connected then. Thank you for the two dollar donation, Turtle Man. It's twelve oh one. Crazy comedy. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Careful jumping into a relationship. Try to build a friendship first things will go a lot smoother. Uh, that was my mistake. But I'm good now. Okay, I'm back. Oh, there you click you click the link, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. Cool. So, uh, how did you get out of this FLDS church which Warren Jeffs is the prophet of? Um, I actually left Idaho moved to Washington and told no one where I was living. Oh, so you escaped it that way. And it was able to get into the address confidentiality. So when the church tried to find me, he, they were getting a fake address saying I was living in Olympia when I wasn't. Oh, so they, they went, oh man, they're, they're FLDS. I swear they're, they're just, just as bad as Scientology. I'm telling you, I think Scientology yeah, Huh? They actually were trying to go through the um, address confidentiality program I was in, which was what it was called. It was called ACP, Address Confidentiality Program. And they were trying to get my records saying, well, there, she's a member of the church. We need the records. Yada, yada, yada. Tell us where she's living so we can send people over. Hmm. And they're like, well, what stream of Mormon are you? And they go, well, we're mainstream Mormon. And the person who worked at the address confidentiality was mainstream. And she's like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, wow. And they were able to find out it was FLDS that way. Huh. And the stakes had gone. So you're not really LDS then, right? I thought I was, but no, I'm not. Oh. I but see. the weird thing was I was able to get temple privileges and ordinances and stuff. Like I've through, been through the temple. Through the LDS church, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Wow. <laughs> well, there's more LDS in Idaho than there are FLDS. I didn't know that their FLDS were there. Yeah, they... They're very small, but yeah, they are, and they take up wards and pretend to be LDS. Wow. But it's not until after you go through the temple ordinance with them that you'll notice the difference. 
Hmm. Well, you know, if uh, I'm thinking of some other, th I'm thinking of the Community of Christ, which is another break off of LDS. But yeah, Scientology. I actually think Scientology is worse. They do beat people up. In Scientology, they play fair game on you, and it's not good. Where's Ali Sensi at? Why do I have to talk? Did you what? Did you watch Stephen Mango's new video about like the fact that they're anti-vax and they couldn't dock a cruise ship because everybody on it had the measles? Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that. Is that his latest video? Yeah, it's like it forty really... minutes long, right? Yep. Yeah, I didn't see that yet. I got the, I got the uh, thing. Yeah, um, I'm telling you, Scientology is worse than FLDS. I'll tell you that right now. Actually, FLDS doesn't allow doesn't allow vaccinations either. Oh, uh, I see. So, well, in my opinion, they're about the same. Well, Larry, Larry King did an interview with Leah Remini um, on uh, Leah Remini does a show uh, Aftermath of Scientology on a &E, and he, he Larry King said to, Larry, to Leah Remini that um, uh, L. Ron Hubbard uh, stole some of the ideology of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've actually read some of the documentation from him, and he did. That's true. L. Ron mm -hmm. Hubbard did steal steal a lot of uh, theology from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Larry King was right in asking her that. And she didn't refute it either. She didn't she did not refute that. So now you know why. Exactly. And she would have refuted if if he'd have been wrong. But yep. he was but he wasn't wrong because she didn't refute anything of what he said when he made yeah. that statement to Leah Remini. I my dad was a theology major in college, and so I learned a lot about the different religions from him. Uh -huh. And Scientology is one of three religions I've never been to. I haven't been to a Jewish synagogue, I haven't been to a Muslim, and I have not been to a Scientology. Other than that, every single religion you can think of I've been to. Catholic religion you've been to? Every the Roman, the Greek, and the Russian. Ah. Uh, Jeff's post says I saw a Vice News video today that the Mormon Church is hiding sexual abuse from law enforcement. Yep. Is that is that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or FLDS Church? Which both. Both. Yep. I've I've heard stories. Uh, in the past about that as well but like when I was being abused I would actually get in trouble if I tried to call the police on it yes Tom Cruise is in Scientology yes he is big time very big yep so is John Travolta yeah John Travolta is also but I think they revered Tom Cruise more than they would John Travolta. It seems like because David Miscavige likes John Travolta and John, Tra I mean, uh, likes Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise likes John Travolta. So. Yep. Hmm. But no, I. I got to meet his nine-year-old daughter, and she is adorable. I'm just thinking about my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. A, he has a nine-year-old, and she is, like, the cutest kid I've ever seen. Do you ever... Do you, uh... Do you, um... Have any children? I do. Oh, did you send it in Twitter, Juxtapose? I'd like to see that. 
I've heard that the LDS has done that before, but who knows? I mean, if the if the uh, if the government finds out about it, then they will be in in hot water if they find out about it. But how are they going to find out? There's lots of things going on with that with the LDS Church that. Actually, the the government shut down a couple steak centers. Where was this at? Idaho. It was a couple of years ago. Oh, in Idaho, it was a couple of years. Yeah, see, it's not like like right now they didn't do it, like thing. Oh, did you want to know what I was watching on Drugs Inc? On what? There's a show called Drugs Inc about different drug dealers and stuff, and they actually had a Salt Lake city one where missionaries and bishops were selling drugs in their books of mormon and hiding drugs in there this was from the church of jesus christ latter-day saints right yeah the mainstream not the flds right the lds we'll call it the lds because flds is the fundamentalists where they can have sister wives and all that kind of crap all right so the ld the lds was church was on drugs inc in salt lake and bishops were showing how they would cut out the middle of the um book of mormon put drugs in it and then they're like well cops aren't going to search a book of mormon so it's the best place to hide them cops ain't going to do anything to to those missionaries anyway really and so that's how they were selling drugs. Wow. Just hide it in the Book of Mormon and then just give people a copy of the Book of Mormon and they just sell the Book of Mormon. Wow. Where did you meet your boyfriend, Juxtapose wants to know? I actually was set up by my really good friends. Awesome. And, and just normally going diets don't work but this time i hit it off and even his daughter adores me and she's like well your your roommates won't will throw a party since you're not there and they won't want you anymore so you just stay here with me and then that way you're on it <laughs> uh juxtapose said that is a genius way to sell drugs that is impressive nice that's a better way than meeting online so you did not meet him online, correct? Correct. She didn't meet him online, so there you go. So that's a good thing, I guess. You know? And he is a little older than me. He's 55. And you're, what, 34? Mm-hmm. And he's 55? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And he lives in Idaho? And the boys, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't like guys my age. I don't know what it is with it. <laughs> ah, I see. I understand. <clears throat> 58 is my absolute top, but I'm not going to keep looking. There you go. Rebecca says, I am happy being single. I was happy, but I love myself and was ready to share that love with someone else. Well, you found um, someone. And he's, yeah, he's I, not from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, right? <laughs> I know you are, so that's why I'm like, nope, he's not. He's actually been to the church a couple times and got scared off by it. <laughs> a lot of people do, actually. My friend set me up with some crazy girls that never worked out, says Juxtapose. <laughs> Relationships are so complicated these days. They are. I'm, I'm happily married, guys. I only kid about having sister wives. I don't. I don't subscribe to having sister wives. <laughs> I'm not Warren Jess who had 73, according to Jack's proposal, was oh, like 84 sister wives. 
I only yeah. saw on no. record 73. But he's locked up, so he won't be getting out anytime soon. Of course, I said that with uh, with O.J. Simpson, and I was wrong. He's out running out. Actually, he, didn't he get back put back into prison? Who, O.J.? Or, yeah, he kidnapped and got caught with an armed robbery. That, that was a while ago. He got sprung out. <laughs> He's out now. It's just going to be a matter of time before he goes back in. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm wondering when I Casey think... Anthony is going to uh, get put back. I no, give it... is jail, I think. No, he's out of jail now, man. They let him out. Seriously. Let me see. I give it a year before he goes back into jail. Hey, Siri, where is O.J. Simpson living now? Here's what I found. Hmm. Let me see something. Hold on. Hey, Siri, is O.J. Simpson out of jail now? I found this on the web. It just still doesn't say nothing. Crap. Let's see. It says, O.J. Simpson walks out of Nevada prison after nine years. CNN. October 2, 2017, O.J. is beginning post-prison life in the city where he committed the so he's still hanging around in, in uh, near Las Vegas, Nevada, apparently. Well, he can't leave the state. Oh, he can't? No, nope, because of probation and parole. He says he's out. Well, that doesn't mean he's off parole. No, but, I mean, he's, he's no, but I mean he's out of prison, though. Uh, Judge right. Judge says nine years before he can apply for parole. Trust me, he's out of he's out of prison. I remember seeing him going over it, right? What? Ah, I dropped my phone. <laughs> I do remember. Yeah. He is very much out of prison, correct, Allie? He is. He's not in prison anymore. As far as I'm concerned, he should have stayed locked up. I thought he was released I mean, to his oldest daughter. He is he was granted parole in 2017. I watched the hearing. At his parole hearing on July 20, 2017, the board decided to grant Simpson parole. He was released on October 2017, having served almost nine years. So he's out, man. Like I said, he was. Mm -hmm. I remember that hearing too, Allie. I was flabbergasted. Watch. You said within a year he'll be back in the system, right? I give it a year or two tops. Yep. I think so, too. I don't think it might be longer than a year, maybe a couple of years, and he'll be back in the pokey. He'll make him another mistake. Casey Anthony, they're watching, too. So I have a feeling she might make a mistake, too. I could be totally wrong with both those predictions, but I could see it happening. Larry King, Toledo, Ohio. You're on the air with Larry King. Still say he killed us. Oh, yeah, he did. I thought he was still in because they usually don't give someone 33 years and let them out on their first parole application. I thought he'd end up like uh, Charlie Manson. Now, I know Scott Peterson will stay in prison the rest of his life. I doubt they give him the death penalty. Or I'll, I'll be dead by the time they give him the death penalty. One of the two. He's not getting out. Just like Manson mm -hmm. never got out. Which is a good thing. My boyfriend in, was in prison, but not for what you think and not in the U.S., Ah, I see. Because back in the 90s, they started, and he's from Iran, and they started criminalizing um, Catholics and Christians and 
or ran and put them in prison. So he had a servant of prison in Iran cop. He used to he used to live in Iran? Yeah. I had a friend that lived in Iran for two years. Dangerous place. Yeah, I wouldn't he was, live there. He was able to get a refugee status here in the U.S. Oh, good. No, it wasn't Iran. It was Iraq. I had a friend that lived in Iraq. Excuse me. I made a mistake. Money talks and so celebrities walk. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> Because, yeah, I guess in both places, they ran it in Iraq. I would not want to be in an in Iranian prison. That would be terrible for me. Not going to any of those he had to eat. What? He had to eat raw bugs just to survive. Oh, man. So they did him in a desert. Uh, wow. Ali Sensi, was- are you in? Huh? What? He was able to escape and. Ah. Uh, Ali Sensi, <laughs> you want to come on panel? Love to have you on. I'm enjoying panel tonight. This is the first time you've been on a panel, right? Yep. Cool. For any channel. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Turtle Ben loves your voice, by the way. Oh, thank you, Turtle. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. Where is Mr. Turtle? I don't see him writing anything. He's probably mad at me or something. Oh. I don't know if he is or not. I thought, oh, Turtle Man and Mr. Turtle are two different No, no, the people. same person. I call him, I call him Turtle okay. Man. Same guy. He just changes yeah, his screen name. And that's the problem with um, using my phone for everything is I can't read chat. <laughs> what kind of phone you have? Android? Yep. Oh, I see. A Samsung Galaxy S9. Did, did they, Which they is now obsolete, I guess. Because... Do they put the 10 out now? Yep. Oh, so I... now the nine's complete. <laughs> when did you get the nine? Two years ago. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have a I have a uh iPhone seven plus. That's obsolete now too, pretty much. <laughs> I I don't know, it's just <sighs> I never got into Apple products. Yeah, not peop- not too many people like them. What's that U.S. prison that is really bad? I think any prison is really bad. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Juxtapose might know. I thought when they ha- opened, when they had Alcatraz open, I thought that was the worst. But they shut that down, and it's now no longer prison. Yeah, any prison is bad. Being a foreigner in other jails. They treat you even worse. I agree. I thought, what? Apple and Android have millions. Uh, Apple is worth a million dollars. Trillion dollars, excuse me. Yeah. How much is Android worth? Uh, millions, I guess. I don't know. Trillions. I don't know. Alex well, Sensi, would you like to come on panel? Guantanamo Bay, I think. That's in Cuba, and that's basically mostly foreigners in there. But that would be bad to be locked up in there, too. Any prison is bad, man. I don't care what you say. Any prison in the United States would be bad. I hope I never I think. What? I think the worst thing in the world is, like, what the Russians have. What's that? Just basically, like, <laughs> there's this prison camp in Siberia, and the Russians put all their um, prisoners of war and stuff in it, and just don't feed, and you have to live off the land, and it's like the hottest get ever in Siberia is like 50 degrees. Hmm. 
Allie says, working on a few things, still may join up. Okay. I'm going past 1230 because I have someone on panel that's very interesting. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate being called interested. <laughs> interesting. You're welcome. Android is open source software, so it's owned by the people, not a big corporation. Open source software is unbeatable. James Staub says that's not a prison, it's a hell hole. <laughs> the US soldiers were beating the prisoners up and taking pics doing. Hmm. That's Gu Guantanamo Bay. <clears throat> Probably did some waterboarding that no one knows about. I wouldn't doubt. It's kind of it's kind of sad what Russians are doing for um, the Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and LDS now. Oh, really? If you're a member of those two religions, you automatically go to Siberia. Oh yikes! Yeah, they attached car batteries to people's nipples. Really. I didn't know that. Rebecca agrees, says yes, juxtaposed. Wow. And they didn't euthanize single. Oh, man. My friend Jehovah's Witness said to me, I'm able to find out what they're doing in Russia with them. Ah. Uh, what religion is your boyfriend? Um, He's a non denominational Christian. Gotcha. There are. He goes to church. He just. He goes to church. Yeah. Jack Spose says there are pictures. Because... What? What? <laughs> What'd you say? What pictures? Pictures, pictures of. Pictures of uh... Yeah, they attached car batteries to people's nipples. Uh, he says there are pictures. Uh, that was, was that Guantanamo Bay you're talking about, juxtapose? Was this where the military was doing that? And like I said, they probably waterboard some of those people. They don't just don't broadcast over the news. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Government basically be a, been able to do anything almost and get away with it. He's afraid of what's that? Government because if you're not Muslim in Iran or Iraq, they will either beat you or kill you. And he was shot, and they thought he was dead, but he they made it look like he died when he got shot. Oh, uh, and just moved him down here to the U.S. Wow. So luckily, the Iranian government thinks he's dead. Uh, they won't. They won't find him now. Well, he's in um, protective custody, so no, they won't. Yeah. Even if he wasn't, they probably wouldn't find him. We don't have too many Iranians here, right? I don't think we do. I think that's a country that's on the no-fly list is Iran. Pretty sure. They've still been sneak, sneaking refugees out of the country, which is a good thing. Uh, hmm. So, uh, how long have you lived in Idaho for consecutively years, consecutive years? 18 years the first time, moved away for five, and now back here for months. How long? Would you move back? How long? A month ago. Oh, so you've been in Idaho for one month now. I mean, mm -hmm. right. But I lived here for 18 years. I see. James Stubb says, I'm going to Israel soon. Cool. Uh, Stephen Greer says, wow, her voice melted me like butter. That's what Stephen Greer said. And Turtle Man also likes your 
or Mr. Turtle, whoever you want to say, likes your voice as well. What do you think of all these these suitors? It's my turtle. I used to have a little turtle stuffy. Miss him. I love stuffed animals, and I had a little turtle. And I never I said, I always called it Mr. Turtle, and that's how I would say it. <laughs> Rebecca Gerson says the U.S. government treat their own troops like crap. They treat regular citizens like crap, too, Rebecca. Trust me on that. Right, Ali Sensi? She's getting a green poop out. Wow. That must that's baby poop, I think. Green poop is. Brown poop is bad. <laughs> well, it took my dad until two thousand two to finally get his pension. Oh wow. From Vietnam. Was he in Vietnam? And Korea, yeah. So is my brother. Three tours of duty in Vietnam. He was he joined he joined in 1950. 1950. Ah. I see. So he got the tail end of the Korean War, but he had to do some stuff, and then he went into the Vietnam. My brother was stationed in Korea. He loved it there. James Stop says, wow. <laughs> My dad was only 50 when I was born. You see a bunch of Mormons running around in Idaho, though, don't you? <laughs> right yeah i actually i don't know like i haven't had a mormon knock on my door yet or my roommate's house but uh -huh. i've had three times the jehovah's witness come over wow i've had jehovah's witnesses come over here too in my apartment in salem oregon i never let them in though they won't take you want to know my you know, want to know how to scare him off? Oh. Talk about Armageddon. The 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 uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Uh huh. What they don't believe in Armageddon? No, they're terrified of it. Wow. So when you bring up like, how do you think Armageddon? Then they get scared off and don't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh wow! We'll have to try that next time they show up. Watch, I'll get a Jehovah Witness tomorrow knocking on my door. Jeez. Steve Weir says, I hope not. I want to... Watch, I'm going to get jinxed and have a Jehovah Witness knock on my door. I don't want to jinx you. I'm knocking on wood so it doesn't happen. Me, me too. But in, just in case it is, I'll give. I'll hand them a Book of Mormon. They'll refuse it, of course. So I'll just say, look, let's talk about the Book of Mormon. They won't want to do that. Because they're not well versed in the Book of Mormon like I am. The girl is too young for me. I was talking about my girlfriend tonight. It is the first time I heard her speak, Mike. Oh, okay, Steve. Uh, Rebecca says a close family member did Afghanistan, Iraq. Wow. Armageddon could be the sun in supernova. It's all going over my head now. So. <laughs> Actually, I have a theory of Armageddon, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a theory well, as well, and I don't want to say it. Just my <laughs> opinion. Not, not the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints' opinion. My opinion, not theirs. Well, I, I wonder... Armageddon. What? I wonder, like... Because I always saw... World War Three would happen, and then we'd go into a nuclear winter, and everything would be like all the crops and everything destroyed by the nuclear radiation. Rebecca says we are in it now. Well, <laughs> the world is getting wickeder and wickeder. That's for darn sure. Well, considering I finally figured out like something happened, and I fig finally figured out what. And it was because I believed in God. <laughs> that still, somebody did something. You still believe in God, though, right? Yeah, of course. Especially since that thing happened, I believe more now than I did. Right. Than ever before? Yeah. Gotcha. It's 
going to be interesting to find out what happens in the future. I'll tell you privately, I don't want it to be on live. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, I don't want anyone saying, oh, you're wrong, you're 100% wrong and all that stuff. I don't want to hear negativity, you know? Not, especially amongst the uh, chatters. I don't want to hear uh, you're, a, you're, a, you're a nerd or any of that kind of crap. Any anyone that does that gets a timeout. <laughs> Juxtapose says this lady, Snowy, needs to record an audio book. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> you could record the Book of Mormon for good sake. <laughs> the Actually, rich there would be one I would want to. If I could do an audio book, which would be um, Girl Interrupted. Ah, uh, I didn't Hi. see the movie. Yeah. Hi, yeah. What about my shot, hon? Well, I need to get my shot, too. I'll turn your terrier up, up to eight and I'll get my shot. I got to get my, my insulin shot. What? Mm -hmm. Wait, what'd you say? Okay, I will. I gotta get my <laughs> insulin shot, guys. I will be back. Uh, keep the inter keep the entertainment going, Snowy. They seem to like you so far. Keep it nice and light so they don't pounce on you. All right. I've got a tough audience here. Hold on, <laughs> I'll be back. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Like I said, I can't read chat, so I'm going to have to think on the fly. No, I actually, I was told I should do some ASMR, but I won't on this stream. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I need to, Get into posting videos again, I think. Later. <laughs> I wish I could read you guys. I love reading chat. You guys are like such a positive, upbeat community. And please don't pounce because I said that. Because <laughs> I can't read the chat. I don't want to get in trouble by my YouTube sister or brother husband thing because <laughs> I don't know what it would be called for the guys if a person has more than one husband which I would never do <laughs> a brother husband that would be funny <laughs> it's like one oh my gosh it's one thirty right now <laughs> I got home like 45 minutes ago. Mm. I can't sleep right now anyway. I'm too happy going over everything from tonight in my head. Just like the coffee shop and this house and him and everything. Okay, so funny story. My dad knew my mom a month and a half before they got married. No, three weeks. They got married after three weeks. And so growing up, I kind of always wanted that to happen. But then as I got older, I'm like, oh, that would never happen. <laughs> And now I think <laughs> it has actually happened, like, they were married 25 years. So it's like, <laughs> I 
I don't know. I'm just in awe and excited and everything. Going through all those giddy first time emotions again. <laughs> Haven't had these in a long time. I wish I could read it, but I know what you guys are saying. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about YouTube is the fact that I can interact with an audience and it's not like TV or something. Okay, pumping it up to eight. All right, sounds good. I don't know if they can hear me or not. Uh. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> I'm just playing with a uh, dream catch right now. It's really pretty. And my roommate has so many cute things. <laughs> I'm getting tired, so I'm not as talkative. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm talking quiet because my roommates are asleep and I don't want to wake them up. Because they have to get up early. They still have work tomorrow. My own roommate, she works every single day. She doesn't get a day off. She works two jobs, so. Yeah. I at least hope my soothing voice is helping those with insomnia or something be able to fall asleep. <laughs> Just right. make sure you say goodnight to Michael. I'm almost back in black. <laughs> and remember to say you saw like me. I enjoyed it. <sighs> Hello, DJ Southpaw. I'm back. What I miss? Hello. Hello. I'm here. I, I was just talking about the date and some other things. Oh, do you? About, what? Wait, what? And about hitting the like button and my soothing voice, I'm hoping is putting people to sleep so that they could, if they suffer from insomnia, they can actually go to sleep. Well, DJ Southpaw is wondering, do you do, do does Snowy do ASMR at all? <laughs> Not yet, no. Have you been into ASMR? No. <laughs> Not yet. No. So you don't do ASMR at all? Not yet. I don't have the right. Uh, hello, no. DJ. What? I just have, I just have earbuds with a microphone. I don't have a microphone or anything on its own, and I don't have a computer to really do it. I just have my laptop. I mean, I just have my cell phone. Uh, phone. I don't even have a laptop. DJ Southpaw suggests you should do a ASMR. Once I get a laptop, I might, but I'm trying to save up so I can afford a used laptop. So you want to get a laptop? You don't have one now? No, nope, it got stolen in Washington. Oh, that sucks. Um, Washington, yeah. Washington State, right? Yep, along with what? my PC. Oh, that sucks. It was a $2,000 PC. Wow. What well, What was it, a Dell? Uh, no, it was um, an ASOS. Oh, okay. Cool. I think Juxtapose has, uh, has an ASOS, I think. So, um... When do you think you'll get your laptop? I'm trying to save up, and the one I need uh -huh. 
is four hundred or five hundred dollars. It's gonna take me two or three months to save up for it. Chuck Spool said you could make bank doing ASMR on Twitch. I think she could make bank doing it on uh, doing it on uh, YouTube too. I can't really make bank because how many subs do you have? I only have nine hundred right now. How many? Nine hundred. Oh, you only need a thousand so you can do um, live and live and stuff. Unless you do it already, do you do live sh live YouTube? I can't. I don't have a tablet. And you or not a tablet? A laptop, and you have to have a thousand subs before you can use your phone. Well, Juxtapol says you make more money on Twitch by far. Are you on Twitch? At all? No. Not on, you're not on Twitch, guys. She's only she's only a, a, a hundred away from being thousand one thousand. <laughs> Elon Musk actually gave you two um, smiley faces. Elon Musk did. What were you gonna say? Elon. Is it the real Elon Musk? No. It's a fake. Oh. It's a fake Elon Musk. Who is that guy anyway? He got the he delivered the DeLorean, right? Um, he also had three flamethrowers because he loves baseballs. So he decided to give three flamethrowers to adults. But he made a car that um no well, that he didn't do the yeah. DeLorean. No, he did the Tesla. Yeah, it's easier to get monetization on Twitch. She doesn't have Twitch, guys. Well, I do. I just am not going to upload anything because... Do you do have a Twitch I account? Or you, don't, yeah. you, or you don't use it? I have it. I just watch streamers with it. <laughs> uh -huh. I thought Twitch was just for gamers. No, they do yes. They do all sorts of stuff, right? Huh. That's pretty cool. I may look into it later. But like I said, I don't have the right equipment, and I don't have a place for it right now. And you want your lap, your new laptop, then you can go, go on Twitch, right? Yep. There you go. It's waiting for a new laptop, guys. What? How many gigabytes does of uh, RAM do you have for your laptop that you're going to get? I'm looking at a one terabyte hard drive. Yeah, that's the terabyte. How much for the for the RAM on it? Um, I think it's five hundred gigabyte RAM. Oh wait, oh I think you're still on uh, the drive. Mm, I don't. I don't know for the RAM what I need, but I am looking for a gaming. Oh, hope, hopefully, it'll have at least eight eight gigabyte for RAM. Oh, you do? do are you going to plan on doing gaming too? I'm not going. I don't know how to upload games from my laptop onto the computer. Uh -huh. I don't know how to edit yet. Does your boyfriend know how but to do any of that? No. Because I don't actually, edit. he might. He does fix. He fixes. I do raw and live. Maybe he can help. <laughs> Juxtapo Juxtapose found a a nice laptop for uh, for uh, West Haven. He's good at finding good things like that. Well, right. my boyfriend fixes. Boyfriend fixes computers and he sells used laptops. Well, so he told me he'll keep an eye out for gaming. <clears throat> Juxtapose says I can help her find a great computer for a really great price if she needs help. I'm the master at finding the details. He is. He's very good. He used to work for ITT Tech. Oh, nice. Yeah, Juxtapose. J U X T A P O Z. I'll think about it. 
I have a limited budget, so I might go through my boyfriend too and see if he could help. There you go. He makes he fixes computers and sells used computers for a living. <laughs> Dio Master, uh, professor of Googleology and straight up gangsta. Ali Sensi, did you want to come up on panel? Or not? It's 1249. Yeah, it's 149 where I'm at. <laughs> yep, I you're might need to go. You might need what? Go to bed soon. <laughs> oh, see, if she's taking off soon, I'm I'm gonna be taking off soon. Unless Ellie comes in here. Then I'm going to bed if she doesn't. Not saying she has to come up, I'm just saying. My arms hurt. I forgot to mention my son knocked the air conditioner out of the window. Oh, that's not good. Mm -mm. Not good at all. You know? Yeah. Um... Well, I'm glad I live in a place with central AC because I do not handle heat well at all. Neither does my wife. She hates the heat. We got a wall. <laughs> we got a wall air conditioner or a window air conditioner in our apartment that she uses. She hasn't put it on yet. I'm surprised. It's still, still nice for her. Apparently, I'm too cold. <laughs> my. But, I have an issue where if it gets really hot, I can actually break out in hives. Oh, just let me find out. I'm, find out what? I'm allergic to extreme temperatures. Ah, juxtapose says. So, oh, what? You took a break. Oh, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Juxtapose says what? He he says I didn't work for the college ITT tech. I've done IT at banks, insurance companies, and pharmaceutical companies. Laugh out loud. Oh, okay. Oh, I, thought you, I thought he worked for IT. Oh, okay. If it if my boyfriend can't find one, I'll definitely go through that guy though. <laughs> there you go. That's on check. There you go. Count me in. Oh, I thought you were saying count me in on the uh, panel, but you're talking about the monies for the bank. Yeah, if if your boyfriend can't find you one, juxtapose could find you one perfectly. Yeah. He'd be good. Want to start fundraising to move back to California next year. The girlfriend needs to be closer to friends and family. I wish I could join you, Allie. I'd l she's in Seattle, Washington. I'd love to. I'd love to join you to go back to Southern California, but unfortunately, I can't. It would be awesome. I've never been to California. It's awesome. I love. Hello, Golden Plus. How are you, sweetheart? Uh oh, there's my sister wife. I got to give her love, Golden Plus. <laughs> She's in freaking Pakistan. Oh, she gave me two hearts. Well, I got to give you more than two hearts. <laughs> How many sister wives do you have? I have I have more than Warren Jeffs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you were you were with the Warren Jeffs clan, right? Mm -hmm. He still claims he's the prophet, right? Yep. And people still claim he's the prophet. Who? Like, FLTS that follow him think that he's still a prophet. Wait, what's his name? We're in Jeff's. A lot of members from the FLDS believe that he's still a prophet and that God will save him and get him out of prison. Uh, he'll never spring out. Nope. I think he, I think he got life in prison, actually. He's in tech. He's in a Texas prison, right? Yep. Running for but your life. Three sixty-five. Hello. What? 
that though there people are saying that he's eventually going to get out of prison because that's what God wants. Crazy. God's just using this as a trial for them. <laughs> I wonder who will be the next prophet when he dies in prison. Uh oh. Golden Plus says my voice is very creepy. Very sleepy, I mean. Oh no, it's talking about you. Your voice is very sleepy. I think I think she's right, don't you? Well, I'm I'm pretty tired. I've had a busy day. Yeah, I had a busy day too. Um I was watching a lot of live streams today. I was at a restaurant and then I went over to his place and then we hung out and then I played with his daughter, which wore me out, <laughs> but it was fun. Cool. Rebecca uh, Gerson says, is Cody Brown part of the Warren Jest Church? No. Cody, Cody Brown is uh, in another FLDS sect, and he lives in uh, Nevada right now. They haven't arrested him yet. They, he had to flee Utah because they were going to. You are tired. Please rest. She says you're. She's uh, Golden Plus said you are tired. Please rest. Golden Plus, would you yeah. like to come on a panel? She says you're very tired. <laughs> How can you tell? Because <laughs> Golden Plus is is my sister wife. <laughs> <clears throat> There's other FLDS sects that are not of the uh, Warren Jeffs era that claim to be prophets. There's a FLDS sect in, sect in um, Mexico and Canada. Also. Yep. You, oh, you know about the FLDS, don't you? And you the interesting... Huh? The interesting thing is, even though they don't, they have their own version of who the prophet is for each sect. Oh, yeah. The LDS has more members than any of the FLDS sects do, or the yep. community of Christ. I just know he has four wives. Who has four wives, Rebecca? You're an Amish country, man. They don't have they don't have more than one wife in Amish, do they? I don't think so. <laughs> smile, very heart touch. Oh. She told Golden Plus told me to smile. She's in Pakistan. Wow. She, yeah, Golden Plus is. She wants to marry me. I said, sure, we'll get married. Cody Brown. Oh, mm -hmm. Cody Brown. Is there a LSD sect? Nope, not that I know of. Cody Brown has four wives now. Mm -hmm. And Nevada hasn't found him or what? See, everywhere he goes, they don't. I think he was almost caught, too. I mean, that's why I had to flee in Utah. It's funny because a lot of people are thinking that they should just legalize polygamy. Near girl, very nice. There are churches um, that use, what's DMT? I don't know what that is. I don't either. Brain, FLDS are brainwashed really bad. I still sign I still say Scientology is worse. Elon Musk says peace all take care. Love. Yeah, at least like with LTS, you don't have to pay for auditing. <laughs> yeah, like they do Scientology. Yeah. Yes, he's planning to go back to Utah. They'll probably arrest him if he does. DMT will make you see God. Is that is that an audit from the Scientology DMT? I don't know what that means. Will 
make you see God. <laughs> Joseph Smith already saw God. Yeah, and there are churches that dance with venom and snakes. Oh, yeah. Girl name, please. Oh, she likes you, I think. What's your girl <laughs> name? Your, what's your girl name? What's your YouTube channel name? Snowy1985. What is it? Snowy. 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 Her name is Snowy. Yep. <laughs> Cause not in the mood right now to give up my real name. So <laughs> I didn't know that DMT was that way. They don't do that in the. They don't they don't do they're the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is against drugs, um, unless it's prescribed by a doctor. So in other words, you're not really supposed to smoke pot or put pot and pot brownies or cookies or candy. But yeah, they smoke pot. Yeah, they sell the stuff through the Book of Mormon. In Salt Lake City, huh? Yep. How come the laws in that? Or are these law... I wouldn't doubt if they're, they're law enforcement that's doing that in the, in the church. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh no, they have help from the people that are in the church that are law enforcement. They really do. Oh, just like Scientologists do? Like if you go to West Hollywood, the LAPD is in the pockets of they get paid by Scientology to be that way. What about Mormon T, Mike? That's without the tannic acid. I don't like the I don't like the taste of tea anyway, so even if it's cold or hot, ugh. I don't like right. coffee. I don't like coffee because I don't like the taste of it. Ugh. And I don't drink alcohol. Well, I did last year, but that was the last time I've done it. This last year. Okay. But, I don't. I rarely drink if anything. I haven't had a glass of wine or something since my birthday two years ago. I don't. And you only, huh? <laughs> The only thing I also do that's kind of bad is smoke cigarettes. You don't smoke, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, yuck. Does FLDS, <laughs> do they, are they allowed to smoke FLDS? I don't know. I don't know. Either. But I quit for 13 years and started back up because something happened last year that was too hard for me to handle. Mm. So after 13 years, I didn't quit. <laughs> Juxtapose says, I don't get how they can be against drugs that are made by God. Uh, they don't feel it like that, especially marijuana. <laughs> Pennsylvania sells it and taxes it. It is made out of a plant that contains ephedra. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't ephedra. know. Ephedra. Ephedra. Um, I don't smoke. I I drank a year ago on my live stream, but no more. Not going to happen anymore. And I took pot brownies that my uh, wife made. Actually, pot is legal in the state of Oregon. It's not legal by the feds, though. But the feds aren't going to look for someone that's eating pot brownies for guts. They have bigger fish to fry. Sounds a lot like Christian science. I don't know much about Christian science. Well, I'm going to let you go because I'm falling asleep. <laughs> okay, it's 103. I'm going to get, if I don't get any more contestants up here on panel, I'm going to leave at 130. All right. Okay, well, you take care, Snowy. It's great to have you. You can come on my great panel again. You. I will. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Okay. Take Bye. care. You too. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. There went Snowy. She's gone. Good night, Snowy. Snowy is an interesting character. I'd like to have her on again.
And she's new. That was her first time on any panel. Rebecca Gerson, I'd like to have you come on, but uh, unfortunately you can't make it because somehow the link's not getting to you or something. Anyway, if I don't get any more contestants up here like Allie or someone else, then I'm going to leave it one one thirty a.m. It's one oh four now. I am too ugly. You don't have to show your face. Snowy showed her pretty face, but you don't have to show your face. Just need a microphone, that's all. Sally M said she was going to a DMT church. When did she say that? Just suppose, will you come on panel or not? We haven't had that many trolls at this hour for some reason which is good. What's up? Redneck Nation 21. Hello. How'd you find out about my channel, Redneck Nation 21? I'm in the shower. You don't want to see this. Okay. Don't be like that, Rebecca. Besides, just hide your cam. Exactly. DJ Southpaw, would you like to come on panel? And we could, we could extend the uh, time. Otherwise, I'm off in 25 minutes. L.A. Beast, brother. Cool. Yeah, Rebecca, you could turn your camera off. Exactly. 4.04 a.m. here. Maybe I will make cake pops. Oh, okay. I don't think... I think Pennsylvania only makes cake pops. Never heard of it. All the trolls are under a bridge with their goats. Exactly, Stephen Where You hit the nail on the head. <laughs> I get to meet Ali Sensi on uh, May 12th. That'll be a week from this Sunday. So I'm excited about that. She's awesome. Where is Ali Sensi? Did she go to bed? Did she find a high speed chase? No. Dodgers win. That's awesome. I would put my headset, I would put my headset is broke or it's not working with my phone. I'm at my aunt's house because my uncle is in the hospital. He had a massive heart attack and is on life support. I'm sorry to hear that, DJ Southpaw. I need a mic. You don't have a microphone, Rebecca? DJ, my condolences. I will say a prayer for you and the, your family, your aunt and your uncle. My wife got out of the hospital today, so I'm glad of that. Allie is very, very, very smart, cool, and rad, and killer. Yes, she is. Awesome. I think Allie Sensi is gone. I don't think she's here. At least we had Snowy on. She can come on again. Love to have her on. Nah, she's there. All right. Allie, you want to come on, panel? Or you wanna stay in chat? I'm I'm if you're not if nobody comes on panel by 1.30, I'm out of here. Just nosh and deeply enthralled in Guild Wars too. Oh, you're gamey. Sorry for your uncle. Rebecca has no microphone. She found me from L.A. Beast. All you guys from L.A. Beast are awesome. <laughs> those were two dud. Those were two dud high speed chases today. Two duds. And there was a third one that we didn't get to see because it was over with. I want to start streaming games more. Got a fundraise to move back to California next year. Yeah, those sucked. 
I'll envy you when you get back to, when you back, get, move back to California. Thanks for the support, guys. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Allie. Thank you, Juxtapose. Thank you, Stephen Greer. Thank you, Rebecca. Redneck Nation 21. Thank you. I'm from Cali. Moved out of state for my job. <laughs> Where'd you move to? We had a Michelle Malloy on last night. Remember her, guys? <coughs> as long as she didn't use Becky Malloy, Wilma Malloy, or Michael Malloy, I'm fine with it. Hey, Malloy. Hello, Nick Askew. I'm moving to Texas. Ah. Ali since says Pennsylvania, Oregon, Washington, California, definitely most states that than most of the people back home in Pittsburgh have gone to. What part in Texas are you going? Stephen Greer lives in Texas also. No Pee Wee Long Way tonight. No Mr. Turtle Man. He probably went back to sleep. No Mr. Turtle. <coughs> Houston, probably not sure yet. Ah. What part in California are you in now? Southern California? I'd love to move back to California. I'd love it. Southern California. <laughs> yeah, Palm Springs area. Oh, nice. Gets hot in the summer, though. Nice, nice area, though, Palm Springs. That's where Harry Carey died in Palm Springs. Be careful in Houston. I'm from there. Kind of dangerous. I lost my smokes. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I used to clean pools. Cool. Tomorrow I will be on. I don't know. If I wake up early, I might do a uh, um, OBS early to test it out, see if it's working good. Found your smokes that's good owner of a ford motor company cleaned her pool for a while it was sick wow it is a lot safer in fort worth huh. how about dallas is it safe in dallas that's where my niece lives in Dallas. Every time I think of Dallas, though, I think of uh, Dallas, the show with J.R. Ewing. I loved that show. I was hooked on it. Just like I'm hooked on Shameless. I'm going to miss uh, Theona, though. She was great. I'm going to miss her, man, a lot. Hope they replace her with a nice-looking young lady. Maybe uh, um, Lippy, maybe Lip will find. We'll still have that young blonde with her. I'm going to pass out tired and got to work in the morning. Peace, love, and 
Air Grease. Peace, love, and Bobby Sherman. Take care, Redneck Nation 21. They put that show back on. What, Shameless? I love Shameless. Shameless is filmed in uh, Chicago and Los Angeles. I love that show. Lip. Lip is my favorite character on that show now. Oh, Dallas. They have Dallas back on now? With J.R. Ewing? I thought the guy died or something. Larry Hagman, didn't he die? He was a good villain. If I had to pick between Houston and Dallas, I would pick Victoria. Never heard of Victoria, Texas. New people. Oh, they got new people on? What channel does it come on? It's probably lame if they got a lot of new people on there. I guess Shameless will probably have to put some new people in there too. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Nicholas MacDonald. How are you? 15 minutes and I'm out of here, guys. 15 minutes. That's it. I don't see anyone coming on panel. If I have one person come on panel, I'll, I'll extend the uh, time. Where is the time? There we go. Mike's local date and time, Saturday, May 4th, 2019, one fifteen and 36 seconds. It's 4 a.m. and I've got an hour and a half until work. Ah, not sure. Oh, okay. It is on the Gulf. Lots of alligator. You know, I love alligators. Yikes. I'm not like Steve Irwin. I'm afraid of alligators. Um, AMC used to do alligator shots or croc, yeah, alligator shots in North Carolina. She doesn't do the, I kept telling her, be safe, man. She'd get close to those suckers. I told her, be safe. So I think she stopped doing them. She does poems and stuff now on her channel. Look at Tyre. It was great to see Snowy here from Idaho. Another state. I don't think I've ever had an Idahoan on uh, my panel before. Steve Ir Irwin was, oh, CBS has it? Cool, I'll have to check it out. See, see if it's any good. Steve Ir Irwin was a legend. Yes, he was. I saw an alligator take down a 400-pound hog. It was cool. Oh, that would have been awesome to see. I would like to have seen that. I hate to be eaten by an alligator. Steve Irwin was never eaten by an alligator. I'm surprised he survived alligators. I was shocked when he, he was crazy. Yeah. He was, I mean. All that he did. And it was a sea creature that got him. Killed by a stingray, yep, exactly. Took its head off, head clean off, wow. Oh my God. Hmm, interesting. Tomorrow I hope to do uh, OBS, then maybe a panel later on. 
the OBS will be first. And I might do panel later on. Then again, I might not. Was not expecting it to drop my camera. Wow. What kind of camera was it, Steve? Stephen Greer? Lucky I did not pee myself. It was a digital film camera to do movies on. Cool. What's the weather in Oregon? It is 50 degrees. The wind blowing is from west, northwest at zero miles per hour. And the current humidity is 79%. 50. It's too cold for me. I got 10 minutes left. Nobody wants to come on panel. 10 minutes. Now someone will come on panel at 10 at uh, 129. <laughs> that happens, I'll go to 2 a.m. and that's it. I don't see anybody on nine more minutes to go. Rebecca, I don't get some YouTubers and how they brag about paying thousand dollars on a pair of shoes for or seven hundred dollars. That I would not do that. That that's insane. Uh oh, juxtaposes naked. He wants me to go till 2 a.m. <laughs> Allie was supposed to, I gave her, I gave her a link. I was filming the hog. I had no idea that there were 20 foot alligators in there. George Bush Park in Houston. Wow. That's a lot. It's a good thing you stayed safe, Stephen Burr. That, that's insane paying $1,000 on a pair of shoes or $700. That's crazy. I would not do that. Doesn't Casey Neistat do that? I wouldn't doubt if he did that. We all need to sleep sometime. Yep. Got eight minutes left. Chuck supposes is naked. He's hurry, trying to hurry up to get dressed so he can come on panel. <laughs> I can picture that now. If no one comes on panel at 1.30, I'm out. But if they do, then I'll stay till 2. And then that's it. It's one, seven minutes left now. Rebecca Gerson, I hope you come back again. I'll be on tomorrow. I don't know what time yet. But I want to do OBS, check it out, see how it's going. And that kind of thing. I was going to take a whole break on Friday and not do anything. But I decided, ah, what the hey, I'm going to do a panel. See how it's working and everything. Checking it out. Over 7,000 
acre park is pristine back in there. I made my own trails back there, went every chance I got. That sounds pretty cool, man. But I don't want to be near any alligators, man. I learned my lesson watching uh, AMC in North Carolina. Ha, naked. Ali, since you're naked too. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Got to keep it quiet. Oiling up, oiling up and manscaping. Uh-oh. Nope. Laugh out. Okay, she's not naked. I got six minutes left. Allie, if you come in, I got to stay till 2 a.m. If not, or if Juxtapose doesn't come in, then I'm going off in six minutes. I am tired, though. Even though I took some naps. Didn't seem to help or work. Like I thought it would. I got cold Mountain Dew for tomorrow. Diet Mountain Dew. Can hardly wait to jump into that. It's probably someone else's. My weather in Boston, man. What is your weather? 50 degrees? 52 degrees. I was only two degrees. I was only two degrees off. Wow. Pretty good prediction. Nicholas McDonald, what part of Massachusetts are you in? Are you in Boston? Stephen Greer says, somebody go on. Allie, we need, we want to hear your wisdom. Yep. Uh, I, four more minutes. Nobody's taking anything, Stephen Greer, so. Nobody's jumping on. Nicholas McDonald, what part of Massachusetts are you in? Are you in Boston? Like juxtaposed? Or are you in Worcestershire, Massachusetts? Worcestershire, where they make the Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I don't even say it right. <laughs> Four minutes. About 25 minutes north of Boston. In fact, I live on the North Shore. Where is that juxtaposed? Running for, for, running for your life, 365 Peabody, Massachusetts. Never heard of Peabody, Massachusetts. You have to have a hangout, right? Uh... Juxtaposed, does she have to have a hangout? Beverly, Massachusetts. Never, Beverly Hills, Massachusetts. Never heard of it. I've heard of Beverly Hills, California, but not Beverly, Massachusetts. Cool. Bargain shopping was in here earlier, too, I think. She's in Lowell, Massachusetts. I hope she's in the good part of Lowell, not the bad part of Lowell. Three minutes left, guys. Heard of Salem, Massachusetts? Yep. Is that where... Uh, is that where you're near? Most people know of that one. I'm in Salem, Oregon. Not Salem, Massachusetts. But I am in Salem, Oregon. I have it, but not much data. Oh. Well, I'm leaving in two minutes. Unless Allie pops on real fast. Witch trials. Yep. I am closer to Wor Worcester. That's the place I call Worcester sauce. Chester. That's where they invented the Worcester sauce. In Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester. Worcester. I don't know how to pronounce it. Two more minutes. Two minutes. That's okay, Mike. You need to get some rest, so good night all. 
Take care, Stephen Weir. You have a good one. Pronounced Worcester, Massachusetts. I got it. Worcester. Should be Worcester. Worcester. War Worcester. Worcester. Worcester, Mass. Pronounced Worcester. Okay. I'll, I'll mess it up. I almost said the F word. I'll mess it up uh, next time. I'll mess it up and say Worcester, Massachusetts. I'll say Worcester, Massachusetts. Well, I swear that's where they got the Worcestershire sauce. I'll bet you any amount of money. No, I won't bet you any money. One minute left, guys. Who's coming in panel? Nobody? The sauce was invented in Worcester, England. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's say England didn't do it, and we'll say Massachusetts did. Still made there. I love that stuff, man. I love it on steaks. It's really great. It's cool. All right. I'm out of here, guys. Take care. God bless. Bye.